Alright, what is up guys? Professor Akali here bringing you the top 10 best one trick pony champions that I believe to be the best for carrying and ranked. So without further ado, let's get right into it. At number 10 we have Elise. She has been a consistently strong jungler since her release several years ago and has always been a bit difficult to play. Mastering Elise will definitely take some time since you have to get used to the fact that she has 7 spells instead of 4, but when you do master her, you will be able to be a huge threat to the enemy team. At number 9 we have Draven. For the sake of throwing in at least one AD carry into the list, we have Draven. Generally AD carries can't really hard carry games until late game, but because of Draven's insanely strong damage he gets from his axes, he is one of the few exceptions. The problem is handling Draven's axes is definitely a tough mechanic to learn, but once you master Draven you'll be the type of laner to find yourself killing the enemies even in the early game. At number 7 we have Jace. Same story with Elise, Jace is a very strong champion that takes time to master knowing when to use each of his 7 spells. He's got great poke, wave clear, a gap closer in CC, and generally doesn't have many bad matchups in lane. Jace is also just generally a lot of fun to play, at least for me, probably because he has so much potential, whether it be kill potential or outplay potential. At number 7 we have Zed. Now most of you have seen this famous Faker Zed vs Zed video. You really can't not include this champion when you realize this is what a good Zed can do. A good Zed is amazing to watch because of how stylish and clean a player can be playing him. Some good Zeds really make it look too easy. At number 6 we have Akali. Most of you already know what a good Akali can do. She has the perfect kit for jumping around and one-shotting every squishy champion in a teamfight, and is overall a very rewarding champion to master. As an Akali main myself, I have seen countless people message me telling me how they were at a certain rank and they were able to climb extremely fast after picking up Akali. The downside of playing Akali is you have to focus on staying alive before you hit level 6, but if you're willing to do that, have fun murdering everyone on the Summoner's Rift post 6. And at number 5 we have Lee Sin. Warning to you guys thinking about playing him though, he usually gets nothing but nerfs, and it seems like Riot doesn't really want him to be too relevant in the meta. With that said however, Lee is probably the most rewarding jungler to get good with. He has insane kill potential in the early and mid game, and is amazing at counter jungling, which can win the game just by removing the enemy jungler from the game and making it a 5v4. I have played more games of Lee Sin than any other champion in the game, even more than Akali. I have probably played around a thousand games of Lee, and while I think he's amazing when mastered, it might be best to invest your time into another champion. I could be wrong though, so play whatever is fun for you. Coming in at number 4 we have Katarina. This champion is a monster. So much so that even Faker is playing her in the Korean Pro League. She has so much mobility from her Shumpo resets, but has a ridiculously high skill cap. One bad play and you'll find yourself jumping into 5 enemy champions and getting one shot because you're a melee range assassin. If you're looking for an extremely fun AP mid laner with a lot of potential to improve and become a beast, look towards Katarina. And at number 3 we have Ryze. Holy crap this guy will never be bad, no matter how many times Riot reworks him. Ryze just does way too much damage with his spells while still managing to have a strong snare and a shield. Oh and he doesn't even need his ult for extra damage, it's just a troll mass teleport that won't even be relevant in half your games. With all that said though, Ryze still requires a lot of skill and practice to get the hang of, just because he has to rotate through his spells perfectly in order to be effective playing him. Overall Ryze is the definition of a solid mid laner, and if you're looking for an AP mid laner that's got ranged spells and is incredibly strong, definitely try out Ryze. And I mean he's only 450 IP anyways. At the number 2 spot we have Yasuo. Some of you guys are going to be upset with me since you hate playing with brand new Yasuos, but I'm sorry, Yasuo is just too incredibly strong. Yasuo is the type of champion you can play 100 times in a row and still not be efficient in how you play him. With that said, playing and mastering Yasuo is one of the best decisions a player can make since it will pay off in the end. Yasuo is so strong that Apto, Korea's number 1 challenger for a long time, said this about him. BS aside, Yasuo is a broken champion. People say he's a high skill cap champion, but the secret with Yasuo is knowing how to control yourself while playing such an overpowered champion. Yasuo's weakness comes from the fact that he is too strong. His laning phase is so strong that after the laning phase, people do not know how to keep calm and throw the game. If that doesn't make Yasuo sound appealing, I don't know what would. Yes, you will probably play like trash in the first few games, but after you get the hang of Yasuo and maybe watch a few guides on learning his essential mechanics, it will be rewarding. And at number 1 we have Riven. I can't even list half of the different advanced mechanics this champion has, it's honestly insane. 
It seems like every spell Riven has can be animation cancelled with some fancy combo, and it's at the point where Riven mains have evolved the champion so much that I will never bother playing her because of how many different insane mechanics and tricks there are to this champion. If you're wondering how rewarding it is to master Riven, well early on in Season 7, 3 out of the top 10 challengers in North America were Riven mains. Riven is the definition of a champion that can carry and outplay opponents with superior mechanics. I could go on all day about how insane this champion is and how high her skill cap is, but I think you guys get my point. That's it for my top 10 best one trick pony champions for carrying and ranked. If you guys enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like down below and comment on which top 5 or top 10 you think I should do next. If I choose your idea, I'll give you a shout out in the beginning of the video. And as always guys, thank you for watching.